guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new I am so excited you're here today my name is Ashley and my channel is busy little blondies and here on my channel we share tons of organizing decorating fun DIYs and all of the busy craziness that happens while being a stay-at-home mom of three little ones so if you're interested in content like mine, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button, join my YouTube family, and I'd love to connect with you here. All right, so we are gonna jump right into this. I am doing a bedroom makeover for my toddler. He will be turning three in September and he absolutely loves dinosaurs. And we have had his room basically the same way since he was born. He was our surprise baby and we didn't really have the space to make a full bedroom setup. So when we built our home, we included a office space. And so we just cleared that out and thought that it would be perfect for a crib nursery area and um, he could just transition into a toddler bed and still fit in there really nicely. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you already know I'm on this whole bedroom makeover kick right now. So I thought, you know, we can't leave little man out. So let's just go ahead and update his as well. He's almost three and he pretty much knows what he likes. So I thought this would be a fun opportunity to do some DIYs, um, get a little creative because he is in such a small space. I really wanted to update his room, not spend a ton of money, but make it look new and fresh and something that he can enjoy, a space that he can enjoy and love going into every day. So here I am starting off with his toddler bed. This was originally my first son's toddler bed and we had it in the attic and there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I just didn't like the color of it. So I thought I would get some satin spray paint. This is the Rust-Oleum brand and it's held up pretty good on you know, other projects that I have done or furniture pieces that I've done in the past. So I thought, you know, I have tons of this left over. We're gonna just kind of keep some of the black going on in this room um, like I said I did want to save some money so I didn't want to have to buy like new curtains and new baskets and stuff because those are all black too but I thought this um, would look really nice really freshen up this bed and give the room a completely new look So I started pretty early in the morning because I did want to give his bed plenty of time to dry out in the open garage. I really didn't want to have to deal with the overflowing fumes from that in his small space. So while that is outside drying, I decided to go ahead and pull all of the pieces from his wall, get off all of these sticky command strips, and just fill in any of the holes that needed to be filling in before I started painting. I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason Why I should ever let you go mm. I don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up Don't wanna wake up 
if I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up I don't wanna wake up Don't wanna wake up Without you Baby, without bring his bed in here temporarily because I got this neat little idea off of Pinterest to do a mountain wall um, on this wall where his bed will be going so I wanted to bring it in just to kind of measure and see how high I wanted the mountains and then I'm going to take it back out and I'll let it dry some more but I will just say this is my first time doing anything like this I've always done an accent color on a wall but I've never done any type of shapes or anything remotely to this so I am basically just winging this and doing the best that I can. So if you are somebody who does things like this and you know of some beautiful professional way to do it, I'm sorry, I'm probably doing this all wrong. And you know, I'm just, you know, a stay at home mom here. I like to be creative and do things in my home that, you know, make my family happy. So I'm just, like I said, winging it and doing the best I can. And, you know, hopefully this turns out great. I'm just trusting the process <laughs> and my creativity and Pinterest at this point. So anyway, first I wanted to just kind of get my walls set up how I wanted and then I do need to touch up this back wall I have a lot of holes and things and so I just thought you know I'll just go ahead mark everything off um, trying not to make double work for myself so um, I'm just gonna put the green on the mountains and paint the rest of the way down with all of my touch-up paint So I know I've said in previous videos that I'm not a tape it off kind of girl, um, but I really wanted to make sure I had really nice straight lines. I could probably paint this too um, since I did mark everything off to get those straight lines, but I thought, you know, I want to try this method out and see um, if it does what I'm hoping it'll do. So I'm going to tape everything off and then maybe clean up the edges if it needs it. I'm hoping not because I've seen other YouTubers do things like this and it turns out perfect. So I'm hoping it saves me a little extra work. We shall see. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and tape this little space off so that I know where my lines are and I don't run the other paint into it. So I'm going to finish this up and then get started back on painting the top half.
right, so this is the paint that I'm using for the mountains. It's in this beautiful green color. It's called Bluegrass Mood. And this is actually inspired from the comforter that I purchased from Target. So I tried to match it as close as I could. Um, just sometimes greens can pull more um, blue or more yellow. Um, and so I really wanted to find something that would match it really nicely and kind of have somewhat of a blue undertone in it. And since I am doing an accent piece, um, I really didn't have to purchase a whole lot of paint. I still have a ton of it left. So this is a half a quart. And I did do two full coats on this mountain piece and I still had a ton of paint left over. So if you're looking to do something fun like this, you don't have to you know, spend a whole lot of money or even use a whole lot of paint. So um, always ask if your local Home Depot or Lowe's sells the um, half quarts as well. why I never even bother with tape because this does not look good to me so I that's that's ridiculous <laughs> Well, because I'm too OCD to just let this ride, I am going to just use a small fine tip brush and clean this up with the gray paint and just see how this goes. Maybe we can make some really crisp, clean lines and make this look really good. Oh, oh, oh. I know I was broke your heart, but I
took me significantly longer than I planned you know the time that I thought I would save taping it off um, I think it turned out pretty nice I'm really happy with how clean it looks and I think that little brush just did the trick all right so now that my husband is home I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bed in I feel like it's set pretty much all day I'm gonna go ahead and make his bed and get his new comforter on here and just start piecing this room together. So my mother-in-law wanted to contribute to his room and she found a ton of really cute wooden dinosaur pieces from Hobby Lobby. They were having the 50% off of all of their wooden wall decor and so she just went crazy so we have a ton of stuff i'm just going to try and move things around and figure out where i want it but i absolutely love the sign and knew that i wanted this close to his bed so because she got a lot of dinosaur pieces i really wanted to try and use as much as i could without it looking cluttered so i thought about doing maybe an accent wall and then i was like well i don't really want to put a ton of holes back in the walls and some of these pieces are fairly big so I knew I couldn't use command hooks on them. So I thought about buying a shelf and I wanted a really super long one to go almost all the way across that um, other opposite wall. But of course they were super expensive and I was just not wanting to do that in this space. So I just thought, why not go ahead and make my own shelf and maybe even put some hooks on it. Um, just give him some more space to use since he does not have a closet and um, he can you know use those hooks for jackets backpacks um, his clothes for the next day those kinds of things so I went straight to Lowe's went ahead and purchased the wood they did not have 
the finished wood that I'm used to getting so I had to get two raw pieces of wood and sand those down so that took a little bit of extra time but I purchased these hooks from Amazon they're the same ones that I used in my bathroom and I absolutely love them and they come in a pack of 10 for like nine dollars so that is a super great steal when they are ten dollars a piece in Lowe's so I just thought you know one day shipping that's not too bad it doesn't put me too far behind on getting his room done and I just love the look of these so I thought this would be perfect and I'm just going to kind of space them out here and see exactly where I want to put them before I get started. And I'm using this same stain that I've used in previous projects. This is in the golden oak color and you see it's this little eight ounce tiny can and it has really lasted me a long time and I thought this would really look nice with the black hooks too. So like I said, less money that I have to spend, the better. So we're going to go with this, and I think it's going to turn out really nice. So as you can see, this obviously took me multiple days to accomplish this transformation in my toddler's bedroom. And you know, that's just how things go typically on my channel. Um, you know, I have, you know, life happening and little interruptions that are running around and, you know, need snacks and need help with things and that's okay too. But my goal was to just get started, get things done and get this finished so you know I feel like at the end of the day I accomplished exactly what I wanted to do just getting started was the hardest part and you know if you're a mom like me or maybe you're not a mom maybe you're a wife or just a woman in general I know we're you know been told that we're made for multitasking but let's just get real like <laughs> things happen life happens and so you know if there's something that you're wanting to tackle or project or just you know day-to-day -day, um, cleaning and organizing or decluttering sometimes just breaking it up into pieces makes it so much more manageable and so much easier to tackle and you know as you can see from this video I had a ton of mishaps you know frustrations but you know when you have those don't let it get you down or stop you from what you want to accomplish as long as you get it done at the end of the day and you're happy and proud of yourself and that's all that matters Classic. every time you make me nervous and i lose my words it's been a while since i forgot the most simple words
So as you can see, I didn't have to put any nails in the wall other than for the shelf, um, that, which was my goal. I didn't want to have to hang up any um, of these wooden pieces. I did have a dinosaur left over, so I'm going to use these command hooks and maybe put his name in vinyl on it and put this above his bed. I think this will be really cute. So we're just going to slap some letters up here from my silhouette and hopefully it looks as good as I'm envisioning in my head. <laughs> still learning with this silhouette. I am not the best at it. I'm just basically learning as I go through each project. So I thought I was doing pretty good. And then when I got to the end, my C came apart. So I had to kind of finagle that a little bit, but it worked out perfect. And these command strips held up really well. I'm super excited with how it all turned out. So here we are at the very end with the finished product. Uh, it took me a long time, but we got it finished and I absolutely love it. He loves it. I mean, as much as, you know, a two-year-old can tell you that they love it. <laughs> but I think the wall turned out perfect. I did order some sheets from Target, so that those finally came in and I put those on his bed. I thought that pulled the bedding in nicely with the wall. And here is all of the decorations and the wooden pieces that my mother-in-law purchased. I tried to put as many up as possible and just really kind of go crazy because he's a little boy and all of this is just so fun and colorful. And you know, that's what little boys are all about. I hope you guys enjoy the final look as much as I do and I just absolutely love it and I'm just so proud of how everything turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a long one. Thank you for sticking with me through the entire process, um, but I hope it inspired you to do um, just a fun project or um, just to get creative in your kids room just do something fun you know just get those creative juices flowing so I hope that I could help you with that today and thank you so much for being here and watching along and supporting my channel it means so much to me I will see you guys all again in the next one